what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video. I wanted to do sort of a Dracar Noir comparison with a vintage and a, a current formulation because I have a really old school vintage bottle that I wanted to go over. And then after that, I wanted to give my predictions on the new 2022 release, Dracar Intense by Guy La Roche. So this is the first flanker that's come out in a really long time. Um, Dracar was an original fragrance from the early 70s, and then obviously Dracar Noir, the most famous, the most successful of the uh, group of fragrances from Guy La Roche, it, it, you know, is the one that everyone knows and is probably the, the best so far. But uh, Dracar Intense is coming out, and I wanted to just give my predictions to see if when it is finally available, um, and when I do purchase it and review it for you guys, my thoughts are correct, or I could be wrong. So before we get started, before we take a look at the vintage and the current formulation of Dracar Noir, um, make sure that you guys subscribe if you haven't done so already, if you enjoy this type of fragrance content, and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, and of course, daily scent of the day, um, post that I put up on the story so you guys can see what fragrances are in and out of my rotation. Um, I want to, you know, again, compare these two fragrances and then give my predictions. Let's jump into it. Okay, first let's take a look at the vintage Dracar Noir. So I got this one. It's a 50 ml. Just look at the bottle, like the shape of the cap and everything. It's a, a little bit different. It's kind of thinner, kind of goes up as opposed to the other one, which is a little bit more of, a, of an oval shape. You can see the box. The box was banged up, but and on the back here, got some information on the bottom. Still looks somewhat the same, but the bottle was in perfect condition. So the cap comes off here, and you can see it's got that old school atomizer where like the neck is showing. I will say, and I sprayed some on earlier, this is my scent of the day. The atomizer on this is decent, but there are times when I spray it and just nothing comes out that I have to, I have to keep pumping it um, enough times. And then eventually a, um, you know, nice burst of the fragrance will come out of it. it it's, it's, it's kind of probably just due to its age. Um, so we'll put that on and then we'll take a look at a, this is a 6.7 OZ ounce bottle of um, Tracar Noir. This is a current formulation. I don't know the year, but um, it, it's, it's new. So it really doesn't matter. You can take a look at the box here and the bottle. Same thing, a little cleaner looking. Um, the bottle's bigger. This is obviously a, a larger size, but you can see the difference in the shape. The smaller size of this is gonna maintain that oval shape where this one doesn't take off the cap. Looks pretty much the same, but this atomizer, a lot better. This one, you get a lot more fragrance on. So I've been wearing this on and off again um, past couple days and you know, you know, know, putting it in between other fragrances. So the big differences, um, we're gonna figure out in the scent. Okay, so upon first smelling, of the vintage versus the current formulation. Guys, I don't think it's that much different. Um, you know, the days that I've worn this one, I feel like it's a little bit deeper, a little bit richer, but overall, it's the same scent. In terms of longevity, I think that this one lasts a little bit longer. And I don't know if it's due to the age uh, that this fragrance, maybe the performance has kind of died down because again, I think this is a late 80s bottle. So um, it, it is, is very old, preserved, the scent is fine. So I would imagine the performance would still be there too. But it's not that much different. This one's just a little deeper, a little richer. This one is a little bit more on the smooth shaving foam where this is a little bit more on the green fougere. Um, but this, the scent isn't that much different. Now, some people, in the comment section, anytime I've talked about your car noir, say, oh, the, the one from the 80s was the best. That was the one. It's nothing like it is today. I tend to disagree now that uh, I've got this one, too. I've had Cosmere versions, but they could be, you know, from the late 90s, early 2000s to where this is definitely an older, and I can just tell because of the bottle shape. So I'm happy it's not spoiled, but I don't think it's that much different. And that's a good thing because if you're buying the current formulation of Dracar, if you're a huge fan of it like me, you're going to want you know to know that uh, what you're buying isn't going to be just a watered down version. Now, I think this one performs a little bit better, but at the same time, it's not a beast mode performer. But again, you can always reapply. And that's what's so good about Dracar Noir. It's so cheap. You can just spray this all day. I wear it to work. I wear it out. I wear it to the gym. It's uh, just one of the cleanest, freshest green fragrances ever. Um, and I love Dracar Noir. If you like aromatic fougeres, you like barbershop style scent, this is absolutely a must have. And it's so readily available. And, and that's what's, what's great. So you can see here on the back where it says the Cosmar is written right there. And this one, this is Luxury Products LLC. 
and you know it says some other other, other brand information there too. So not that much different. I wouldn't say if you can get this at a good price. The seller had this for eighteen dollars. I'm kicking myself for not buying the, the two that he had. I only bought the one because honestly, I assumed it would be it would be sour or rancid when I got it due to how old it was. But it was it was really good. But I'm, I'm happy to have this one, and that's why I also bought the big bottle too because I'm going to go through this stuff and actually utilize it, which is good to utilize your fragrances. But the big differences between your Car Noir vintage versus original. This is a little richer darker kind of has a thicker opening um, but the dry and the dry down will last this will last a little bit longer where this one is a little bit more um you know fresher and it's not going to last as long but it, they don't last that long e either one of them so i wouldn't go out of my way unless it was a really good deal to get a vintage i think the current is just fine okay so dracar intense it's coming out at some point this year, when it does come out, I will buy it. I'll pay retail. I'll buy it. I want to buy it. I want to own it. I want to review it. Um, and I want to tell you guys what I think. The original Dracar by Guy La Roche came out, I think, in the early 70s. I believe it was 1972. The fragrance is a relic. I, from what I understand, it was more of a citrus-based fragrance. I've never tried it. I've looked on eBay, and the bottles look so old and banged up, and they're pricey as hell, that I probably wouldn't risk getting it. There's only like one person in the whole fragrance community that I even know that owns it. Um, and it's the Vintage Parfumist. You can find him on Instagram. He got an insane page. It's like a museum of perfume and men's fragrances from all the classical era. Uh, then they came out with Dracar Noir. Obviously, the mega hit in the early 80s. And it's still being made today. One of the greatest fougeres of all time. After that, from what I understand, there was a fragrance called Dracar Dynamic. Also a fougere. Never smelled it. And then there was Dracar Essence. Shower gel, blue fragrance, probably sucks. I think I smelled it once in a Target. And it's still being made. You can get it. I wouldn't go out of my way to get that one unless that's the type of fragrance that you like. Now, here we are in 2022. Dracar Intense is coming out. So, if you guys seen the picture of it, it's kind of like a dark cap, black cap. Bottle looks just like this. There's no Noir. It just says Dracar and then Intense. And it's see-through. It's a transparent bottle. The juice looks amber, like almost like a beer or boozy color. So the notes, I have them written down in the top. You have bergamot oil, absinthe, coriander oil, and rosemary. In the mid, you have lavender, juniper berry oil, clary sage. And then in the base, you have patchouli, vanilla, suede, and oak moss. So I was excited about the bergamot, the rosemary, because that's also in Dracar Noir, but it's kind of also in a lot of things. And then the lavender, also in Dracar Noir. So they, some of the barbershop notes, and then they have patchouli, Vanilla, suede, and oak moss. I'm only excited about the oak moss, but my guess is is that this fragrance is not going to be one that I'm going to enjoy. I, I'm hopeful, but I also have my expectations really low. I honestly think that it's going to be a boozy with the, the vanilla scares me. I don't like vanilla. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a masculine fougere. I think it's going to be like it won't be an intense version of this. It'll just be its own thing. It'll be like Azaro Pour Homme Intense, and from what I understand, that's kind of like a, a boozy, sweeter fragrance, and that's how I understand that this one will be, um, you know, the, the, the vanilla and, and the suede and the patchouli, that combination to me, that I think is what's going to dominate the, the, the smell, and I'm just worried that that's going to just take it to a whole other level, and that might be what they were going for. Maybe they wanted to have a, a more modern release, but your car intense, I mean, it's just difficult because... If it is just an intense version of the original Dracar, they're so far removed. Does anybody even remember what that one smells like? So that's where I, I don't think it'll be like a, 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 just a, a front-loaded fougere. That would be great. They could put Dracar Noir in a new bottle and sell it to me with a different name, and I would love it and, and rave about it. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. My prediction is it's going to be sort of a, a boozy, thick kind of fragrance. Um, you know, the patchouli and vanilla, those are tough notes for me when they're not done right. And I just feel like the vanilla is going to make it too sweet. And I don't like sweet, boozy scents at all. And I hope that's not what it's like, but I can only guess. I'm only speculating. So hopefully my predictions on this are wrong, but I don't think they're going to be. Okay, guys, that'll wrap it up for me. That's my short comparison of the vintage Dracar Noir and the current formulation and my predictions on the new 2022 release, Dracar Intense by Guy La Roche. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think this flanker is going to be like? Do you think it's going to be great? Do you think it's going to be more along the lines of what I predicted? Um, what are your thoughts on vintage Dracar versus current formulation? Have you ever tried a vintage? Let me know in the comment section. You guys know I always appreciate all the interaction. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.